should Satan put on people's life, he does not put it with expiring date. The Bible said in this scripture that this lady was bound for 18 years. She was not born with it. It came to her one of the days. And let me shock you, the Bible said she was the daughter of Abraham. That means you can be born again and still be bound. Mm. It wasn't because she was a sinner. She was a daughter of Abraham. Yet she was bound. You can still be a virgin. Living a clean life. Not sleeping around and still be bound. The Bible says she was bound. And do you know what it was means to be bound? This is how she was. This is how she walked. That means from that day onwards, the scriptures did not tell us her name. Her infirmity became her name. That means her name was swallowed up. That means her beauty was swallowed up. Beauty turned to ashes. She was bound. She was bent. The pain, the shame. Children looked at her in the street and laughed at her. Even children took the gesture. When they wanted to talk to her and say, in Kechi, don't know in Kechi, that one where they move like this. Her pain became her mockery. She was bound. And because she was bound, she could only see things on the ground, not things forward. She could not lift up her eyes to look up to God. She could not look at the future. She was bound. Her life bent. What has bent your life? bent your life. Some of you could be abused. You were raped. And since after you have been raped, it's as if your life has been bound. You have not recovered from that rape. Rape is not only when man sleeps on you, sleeps with you without your permission. You can also be raped in life by what men have said to you. She was bound. Academically, she was bound. Spiritually, she was bound. Health-wise, she was bound. She could not stretch. When you are bound, you can't stretch mentally. You can't stretch in your destiny. You can't stretch financially. You can't stretch in your career. It's as if a limitation has been put on you. And that limitation is that you will never lift up your head. Whatever has said, you will not lift up your head. I stand as a prophet of God. And I declare, it is broken in the name of Jesus. It is broken in the name of Jesus. I was listening to Lukoya. And Pastor Lukoya shared a, a, test, a testimony of what happened in the family. And what was it? Five beautiful daughters born to one man. And in that five beautiful daughters, suddenly all of them got married. That's a testimony. Marriage is not where you lay end. So five of them got married. But suddenly one by one, five of them started returning home. First one returned. Second one returned. Third one returned. Fourth one returned. Fifth one. And for each of them returning, their father prepared their room for them. Their room was prepared waiting for their returning. And one of them returned the fifth one and could not take it. When she sat down and looked at it, she discovered this is a pattern. Nefa Barakao sometimes discovery is the, is, the, is the path to recovery she discovered a pattern that this thing is not ordinary so she was invited by a friend to mountain of fire she went to mountain of fire and bought one of the books prayer rain because she doesn't know how to pray so she took prayer rain kept it in the night around 12 woke up and started reading prayer and pronouncing from 12 to 1 after 12 to 1 in the morning, knock came on the door in her house. Knock came. As she opened the door in her father's house, it was her grandmother. I said, Nemi Batago, how you did? She said, now this kind of prayer you're praying, I don't like it. Though. You don't need to be praying this kind of prayer in this house. You know the kind of prayer we used to have? Which is Chineke. Chineke Monso. Nafana. Nawana Monso. Amen. Chineke Jisike Dubai Ta. Nambelile. Amen. He said, That's how we pray in this house. The lady looked at her and kept quiet. The next day, she stretched for two hours. 
she started, she prayed chapter one to about chapter four. After two hours, the woman came back again and knocked. I said, have I not warned you? Don't pray this kind of prayer in this house again. Don't try it. When the woman went out, she now smiled. It became clear to her that this is the enemy. So she had to sleep in the day, eat and get ready. In the night, she now stretched six hours. By the morning, when they woke up, there was no knock. She came out and looked at her. When he looked for grandmother and went to the grandmother's house, he saw her dead on the bed. Now listen. When they took her to the mortuary and started getting everything from her house, they saw an ancient padlock. When they opened the padlock, they saw the key, opened it. They saw peppers touched in the padlock and padlock. When they brought her to the they seeing the names of her and her sisters. That has been written that they will come back home. See, we are not in a world that is smiling. That's why you should not be smiling. Whatever he said, because what I'm saying is that some of you don't know that the issues you're having in your marriage could be possible that there is a face behind your issue. That's why this night you're going to war. I am calling this night a night of women on heels, warring women on heels, because this night you're going to be praying and breaking chains. Whatever chain is holding my marital destiny, whatever chain is holding my. Outside of you.